All right, welcome back YouTube to this week's painting update. So, I did get a decent amount of work done this week. Um, so I did hit my 30 miniature goal for the month of January. And it looks like I'm gonna exceed it because now I got uh, six or seven Roman commander figures that I wanna get painted. And I'm pretty sure three of them are on horses three are dismounted so it looks like i'll be able to get those painted up uh this month as well hopefully and that'll that'll put me that'll be damn near a normal painting month for me uh but yeah so i got 16 velites these are from relic miniatures uh half are with wolf pelts half are not uh normally i would just show off some of the miniatures and call it a day on the video but this week was a little eventful. I decided I wanted to try something that I normally don't do. Um, normally, I do a more yellow... I've, I've done flesh in a couple of ways in the past. I have a, a dark flesh uh, for Caucasian. This is all for Caucasian people, Europeans. Um, I have two different methods I've done flesh. <clears throat> One is... I use this triad, and this is what I did on my English Civil War guys, and um, my British bolt action guys. I do that triad right there uh, as a base coat, and I don't uh, a th a thick highlight. I don't know covers up almost everything but the folds, and then just a real light edge highlight like on the nose, eyebrows, chin, thing of that nature. Um, I use that triad right there. Uh, it turns out good. They're definitely darker fleshed when you do that. Uh, and then I kind of moved into this, which I did my Germans and uh, my Romans and, I don't know, probably a bunch of other miniatures. Uh, but what I do is, is I use Dark Flesh from Vallejo. And then I put a wash on it. And then I do a, uh, a big highlight of uh, Flat Flesh over top of it and you can see these colors are really good really good matches um, for you know for layering so and then I also have this one I've never used it on like my Germans sometimes I'll mix these two together and then highlight noses and chins and th fingertips things of that nature But, now that is what I normally do. I decided, now those are more orange or yellow Caucasian fleshes, um, so they're a little different. I don't know if you'd classify this as a orange or yellow based flesh, uh, but I'll just go with yellow and I'll show off what the, it normally does. This is, I had to go to the cabinet and grab some painted miniatures with that flesh on it. So this is what it looks like. You can see the uh, the flesh wash, and I use the Army Painter flesh wash. Does good shading, and then I highlight the skin. And that's what it looks like. Um, I like that effect. I just, I've used it for years now. And I wanted to do something else. I wanted to try my hand at pink flesh. So that's what I did with these guys. I did a pink flesh. I uh, recently, I uh, I bought some some other paints, and I was like, you know, let's give her a whirl. Let's give her a whirl. Um, little did I know, and I was looking to to do a similar method in time constraints. Base coat, flesh wash, highlight, maybe a second really light highlight, um, just an edge, you know, top and edge real fast. So I got this paint. It's actually a really nice color. Um, this is brown rose. <laughs> and so on these models, I used it. I base coated the flesh and then I flesh washed it. And I came back and they looked like Native Americans. Like straight up, like, like, like Navajo Native Americans, like from the Southwest US. Uh, and I was like, oh shit, my Romans, my Romans look like uh, Navajo. And so... I, uh, I took these two skin colors, 
and I started to mix. At first, I didn't mix enough of this in, and it was still too dark. Um, but essentially, I just uh, I did several. I did uh, wet blending and layering with these two colors mixed in together. Obviously, at first, I you know it was like 50/50 or like 60/40, and then I, you know then I'd add a little bit more skin uh, the lighter basic skin tone in there uh, to lighten it up. But eventually, I did after doing two or three iterations of layering and building up color on the miniatures I eventually did get the effect I wanted um, which looks really nice from far away you know I obviously would not have uh, wanted to spend all of my time on skin on these figures like I did but I wasn't happy with it so I had to fix them I just could not let them rest and it ended up working out okay because this brown rose acts as a really good shadow base for skin, for Caucasian skin. But like I said, you're just going to have to mix it in with this bad boy and, and just layer it until you get the the look you're looking for. Luckily, you know, I understand wet blending and layering and all that, so I'm able to do that. And I, I obviously left the uh, shadow and the recesses of all the skin. So the effect turned out really nice. Uh, they, they look more Caucasian. This would probably be really good for northern, northern European guys. Not sure if I'll do it again on the Ro on any of my Romans. Uh, maybe I'll reserve it for, like, my when I do Celts or, you know, Germ you know Dacians or some Dacians, something like that. Uh, but, yeah, they turned out. So I'll, probably, I'll show some of the figures. I only have the hair and the shields left on them. But, uh, like I said, some of them have wolf pelts. Just some nice, some nice velites. The figures aren't the best. They had a lot of cleanup. They didn't come with javelins, which is a huge pet peeve of mine. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, we got them painted. Um, I like the wolf pelt guys. I dry brushed to get the effect on the wolf pelt. I did two in black wolves, and the rest were all a medium gray wolf. Um, most of them have helmets. Some of them don't. Uh, I did a few with iron helmets. As you can see here, I got to do the tips of the javelins as well. But yeah, I mean, they, they turned out great. I mean, it's my first unit of 16 <sighs> Velites. So they're ready. I just need, like I said, do the hair and the shields and, the, and varnish them. And then they're going to be on the gaming table ready to go. So I met my quota this month. And you guys can judge, maybe in the comments, you guys can... Uh, Judge, which skin style do you like? My traditional Caucasian skin style there that I do or the new one I developed. And the whole reason why I did this, I, I forgot what the impetus was for all this, was I was watching the Plastic Crack podcast and they were all making fun of, uh, I can't remember, one of the guys who just who dr apparently just drowns everything in Agrax and he like, yeah, I guess he had an intervention moment and he's not using Agrax for like six months or something. So he's just going to paint without Agrax. And it got me thinking, while I don't drown everything in washes or Agrax, um, it got me thinking like, oh, have I become too complacent? Do I not try new techniques? Do I not try new color blends? You know what I mean? And so that's why I decided to try this new method for skin because I didn't want to be, I didn't want to become stale and stagnant and just be a, you know, uh, a one trick pony type deal. But uh, yeah, so, uh, you know. Painting as you, you know, as you get paint more and more, I think uh, either two things happen: you get more comfortable with trying new things and mixing paints to get colors that you want, uh, or B, you just get stuck in your ways and you're like an old stubborn donkey. You don't do anything else. It's it, you know, I don't want to be an old stubborn donkey. Uh, there's a lot of great painters to learn from out there, so. I'm glad that kind of spurred me to, to try something new on this unit. I'm still glad I did it. Um, at the time when they looked like Navajo, I was like, what did I do to my miniatures? I'm going to have to completely rebate, you know, rebate, put a base coat on them. But I was able to salvage it in the end. So uh, that was it for, uh, for this week. Like I said, next week we're doing Roman Commanders. I think next week I have Cretan Archers, and these are all from Relic. And then we'll go back into the Persians Hardcore because uh, that will... That'll get my Roman armies into a more respectable place. I'm not going to paint any more Hastate or Principes until they get re-released by Aventine. After 
having a conversation in the chat with Triarius. Uh, yeah, I've now made up my mind. I'm not settling for anything else. I'm just going to wait. They say May, June, their Romans are going to, their Republican Romans are going to be back. And I'm just going to buy my Hastati and Principe there and, and then finish out the last couple 24 man units I want to do for my Hastati and Principes. So, uh, yeah, guys, until then, uh, keep on painting.